Hey guys, I was doing my makeup and <laughs> um, not today, but another day. And I thought I should probably, um, it wasn't an original idea <laughs> by any means. Someone had asked me what my go-to summer makeup routine is. And um, I thought, well, you know what? I could probably just show you. I did tell that person, <laughs> but I thought I could just show you um, what my go-to summer makeup is, uh, what I've been doing here lately, and, um, so I thought that's what we could do today. Hopefully you guys enjoy. <laughs> Since it's summer, everybody's looking for something easy, something, um, very light, um, just a lot of different specifications for summer, so... <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know what, let's touch on those today. So, um, usually here, I don't want to say usually, but here lately, I haven't really been using, um, eyeshadow. I will show you some alternatives if you want to use like a quick eyeshadow for summer. Um, but I'm going to kind of forgo eyeshadow today. <laughs> I know, who am I? I don't know. I don't know her. Um, so we can forgo the eyeshadow and, um, just kind of focus on the face. So let's do that. So if I seem like I'm in pain, please excuse me. I am. <laughs> um, I somehow, I'm trying to find a comfortable position for my foot and I'm not finding it. Um, <clears throat> somehow I slipped on some water <laughs> that was in my kitchen floor, twisted my ankle, nothing major or anything, just enough to be annoying. Um, and <sighs> I had been very restful today because of work, you know, I can kind of just sit, prop it up. Um, well, now <laughs> I, I kind of moved around a little bit more, um, coming down the steps and whatnot. So yeah, that, um, that made me a little bit, uh, uncomfortable <laughs> to say the least. So my thing is I'm an oily girl. So you have to think about your skincare needs when you're thinking about summer. But a lot of us do deal with excess oils on our skin because we sweat. <laughs> so, in the summer especially, I'm always thinking about my oil production and, you know, how to control that, combat that. Um, <clears throat> and I have a few ways of doing it. <laughs> but um, I like to focus on preparation. So, one of my favorite primers right now is this. <laughs> um, I, I've talked about this in a recent video that I, I like this. My, my complaint is the pump on it is a little wonky and it doesn't always pump the right way. So, um, that's my, <laughs> um, qualm with this, but this is the airbrush. Um, I'm sorry, the hourglass vanish airbrush primer. Um, I really like that one. Of course, a constant go-to for me is the pretty filter. I see Sherbert primer. Um, I literally reach for this one more than any, and I'm about out <laughs> completely. Um, it smells so good. I have to sniff it every time. Uh, it smells so, so good. Love that one. Also, if you're looking for staying power with it, a gripping primer is the way to go. So, um, the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. or the Hydrating Primer from Hard Candy. Those will grip onto your makeup and help them stick to your face so that it doesn't melt off when you get hot. One more. <laughs> this um, Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. It's supposed to do everything. So, it's going to mattify, hydrate, and blur your pores. And it's going to make your makeup last. So, um, it actually is a, a favorite of mine. <laughs> One of the ones I really like. And actually, I think it's kind of a dupe for this. Um, so, I really, really like this one. And it's a lot more it's cheaper than this one. Um, this is about $20 and this one probably less than five. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's cheaper. And also just to mention, cause I love this too. This is the, um, I'm throwing a bunch at you. I know, <sighs> but this is the revolution, uh, mattifying niacinamide primer drops. So I'm almost out of these and I have been for a while. I've had this for a little bit. This is what I'm going to use today. So you get them in a dropper. And so I like to just drop them on my hand. So it's just like a little lotion. Um, and I, this kind of reminds me of my Fenty Mattifying Primer, which I really love that one too. It's just in front of me and I can't get to it. And it's a little hard for me to move right now. 
so I'm not gonna get up to get it. I'm always complaining to you guys about something. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. This is just life. This is what's going on. For the last week, I've been sick with some kind of, I think, I don't even know what it's been. <laughs> it's just been something that's kept me down. Um, so, you know, waiting for that to pass and then I do this to my ankle. <sighs> I'm just, I'm a mess, so. I apologize. <laughs> and just for a little bit more staying powder, even though I feel like I get really good staying powder, power, not powder, but power from this, um, I still want to do just a little bit more of a gripping primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Power Grip. I'm not gonna use a whole lot. I'm just gonna kinda put it on those spots that first come off, so like my nose and my chin, <laughs> and then a little bit on my forehead too. So I am double priming, but I promise, I guess I'm putting it everywhere too, um, <laughs> but it, it'll it be worth it. So I just kind of like to make sure it's really tacky. See that? I like a lot of lightweight things in the summer. So like I would use my Fenty Ease Drop, Easy Ease, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I also like my Pat McGrath. I've worn that not long ago. I really like that one. Course, I talked about this in the last video I did. This is the Fenty Pro Filter. I feel like this is almost too much coverage for like a really hot day in the summer. So um, I try to avoid this if I'm if I know it's gonna be a hot day and I'm gonna be outside. The pretty natural hydrating foundation. Can't talk about it enough. Love it so much. This is not super light, but this is just like one of those foundations that just it it works for everything. <laughs> so I have to mention the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Love this love the wet and mild hydromaniac this is really good um it's a great light foundation love the nars <laughs> um light reflecting foundation this one's a really good one too it's great and lightweight and not it i don't feel like it cakes on me or anything like that so really great today we're gonna use probably if i had to choose a favorite right now this would probably be my favorite for summer especially. Um, it's the Tarte C Hydroflex Serum Foundation. I never thought I would like a serum foundation, but I love this. If you are dry, you may not like it as well because you're thinking a serum is gonna be very moisturizing and hydrating. And yes, it, 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 it is for me, but it's probably not gonna give you as much as you're hoping for. So just have that in mind. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna need a new one of these soon. <laughs> so I like to put, it looks like I'm putting on a lot, but I promise it's not. And I really like to use a brush for it. And yes, my brush is dirty and I need to wash it. When did I, when have I washed my brushes last? I couldn't tell you. Beautiful. It looks great on the skin. It feels very light. Like I don't even feel like there's anything on my skin to be quite honest with you. It is just that beautiful, that flawless, one of the best. So if you have like a normal to combo oily skin type, I would highly recommend this. If you are dry, you may not like this. So depending on where you're going, if you want longevity, layer your products. Like I've said in the past, you know, I like to layer my creams and then my powders. Um, if I'm in a rush, I won't do that, but I really do like the layered look because it kind of makes me look a little bit more fresh. So I am going to do that today. Charlotte Tilbury. Let's bring her out. Did I use this in the last video? I think I did. Have you guys heard of the makeup, um, the Saint makeup? I've seen, of course, people on social media who have been using it. And of course, you know, they usually sell it, so they really like it. But it looks very interesting. And I have always kind of been turned off because I am a more oily skin type. Um, I feel like my skin type is more combo these days, even in the summer, believe it or not. And maybe it's just because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hermit and I live at home and I hardly go anywhere. Um, like I've always been a homebody, but COVID really like made me more of a homebody. Like I like to stay home more. So, um, I think that possibly I'm not getting enough vitamin D or something in my skin and maybe that's made me a little bit more combo. So it's drying me out more. Who knows?
I'll go ahead and admit to you too that I'm not as religious about washing my face as I used to be. I know, who is she? I've changed, guys, I've changed. <laughs> I don't wash, it's not that I don't wash my face. If I have makeup on, I definitely wash my face. But if, <laughs> if it's like, um, a day that I've not worn makeup, sometimes I'll just go to bed without washing my face. I know, that's awful. But it used to happen like twice a day. It's not happening like that anymore. So that could play into it as well. It's gonna be a Charlotte Tilbury day. Um, and this is the uh, Beauty Light one, the High Blush and Peach Gasm. I love this. A lot of people like the pink gasm, but I really like the peach. I've not tried the pink. Um, but peachy blushes have always been my favorite. And since I'm focusing on like complexion, I do a little bit more than I normally probably would. I've had this forever and I really have liked it. It's the Ultimate Blending Brush from e.l.f. And I've been using it a lot lately. It just like works. Let's put just a tad bit more on. Why not? <laughs> I just love it so much. See how it like glowy? I love that look. If I only was not oily and it wasn't the peak of summer, <laughs> I would stay like this. I'm just picking a random um, concealer. I almost said highlighter. How crazy am I? Um, and I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. So like I said in my last video, I'm, I'm not putting as much of this on as I used to. I don't put it all over the face and especially not during the summer when I'm sweating. <laughs> um, but yes, I do like to just leave it under the eyes and all the time now, really. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice not to have extra on your nose for it to kind of slide off this is my skin personally. You do what you need to do for you. Um, this is a me, me type of thing. <laughs> so I like to take a little on my lid, which I normally wouldn't do. I would use um, eyeshadow primer, but since I'm not wearing shadow, I don't need primer. I'm just kind of making a blank slate on the top of my lid. I just like to use brushes to blend too because especially under my eyes I feel like um it helps with the, the creases under there like I can blend it better that's just me I really like to use my Huda powder especially <laughs> I said that funny but my Huda powder is my like go-to for any time but especially summer um so let's use her so I like to do a brush for this as well under my eye I feel like I don't get a heavy amount of powder. Sorry, I'll stop doing that while I'm talking. Um, I feel like I don't get a heavy amount of powder under my eye um, if I do a brush. And I always make sure to blend any creases before I go in with powder. And as I'm aging, I find, maybe just because I have big cheeks too, I find my smile lines crease a little bit more. So I like to make sure that those get a little extra attention then I'll take my big brush and just powder the rest I like to do glowy products especially in the summer but I like them in general um, but these are two of my favorite highlighters so I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian clay waterproof bronzer I love this I think the last time maybe I showed you this I was trying to hit pan I hit pan y'all <laughs> love that step and then I find that this is like a very close dupe for it as far as shade goes. Um, and this is the Rimmel Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer. So let me just quickly show you the shades on these. I feel like very good shade dupes here. Not exact, but very similar. So which one did I do first? This is Rimmel, and this is the Tarte. So, not exact, but they are very similar. And I love this big brush, so. 
gonna start putting it on. I just like to put bronzer everywhere. <laughs> I'm just grabbing my Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm Face Palette just to do a little bit of um, nose, like bronzer, but more contour, I guess, um, because I just want something matte for it. So that's why I'm getting this one. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go into this palette too, and I'm gonna use this here, which is just like it's a it's a highlighter, but it's it basically basically matches <laughs> the um, Beauty Light One and High Blush Peach Gasm almost like perfectly, so that's why I'm using it. Now, as far as eyeshadow goes, if you want to use your blush as like a crease color for your eyeshadow or your bronzer as your crease color or however you want to do it, that would be a quick way to do it. If you want to use a liquid eyeshadow just to kind of pat something on there and be done, a um, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, that's really an easy like tap it on and go. Um, there's so many like easy steps. <laughs> You know like one two three done um but i have just been going without i just i kind of like the look of nothing so that's what i'm gonna do today so for brows i did my norm <laughs> nothing new here i had to break down and buy a new um nyx pencil i didn't have to but i chose to i was out of my taupe you saw that one up so i bought a new <laughs> nyx micro brow pencil is it yeah, micro brow pencil in taupe. So that's what I used for pencil. Then I used the brow tint, um, the lift and snatch in taupe. I need a new one of these. It's out. And my favorite brow gel is the Oma oh and See, this is the two in one brow styler, but I only like the brow gel and I use the shade number two. But I like this little tiny wand and it just keeps my brows in place. It's just that good. So. <laughs> Um, I have tried to like the pencil on here. It's just a little too dry for me and I don't like it. So, um, that's why I don't use that, but I love the brow gel enough that I buy these just for the brow gel. So that, that's what I did there. Um, so I told you it's going to be a Charlotte Tilbury day. We are going to use this. This is the easy highlighter, um, in spotlight. So I squeeze some out and I'm just going to put a little bit because it doesn't take much. And then I'm going to dab it in with my finger. So I just blend it in with my finger. And then I did take a sponge over top just to kind of like pat it out. And it's a dry sponge. It's not even wet. Um, you can take a wet sponge. It might help a little bit. I did put a little bit in the corner of right here just to kind of keep that glowy look going. Um, did I need it on my nose and right here? Not necessarily, but I like the glowy look. So <laughs> that's what we're going for today. This has been my go-to mascara for the summer, for the hotter weather, I should say. Um, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. I don't have the waterproof, waterproof version, but this is still like kind of water resistant. So um, I notice when I go to take it off, it's a little bit harder to take off at night. And it's just because it's a little bit water resistant. <laughs> so I like this in case I do get, you know, warm <laughs> and I start to sweat or anything. There's no transfer. So that's why I like it. See that? I love it so much. It's like the perfect dupe for my Bad Gal Bang. And I might even like this a little bit more than Bad Gal Bang. Some days, if it's a mascara that I'm not sure how it's going to wear and if it's going to transfer, I will just leave like my bottom lashes bare and just do the top lashes. That way it gives kind of like a lifted look to the eye. Um, since I know how this one's going to wear, I am going to put it on my bottom lashes, but I just wanted to give you that little tip. I don't even do a liner on my eyes. I just kind of leave it just alone. I just do a little bit of mascara and that's it. That's it. Sometimes I decide to do like a bolder lip when I do something like this, but I think I'm going to kind of keep it in the nude family today. So I am going to use my KKW. I know you can't get this. Sorry about that, but I do like this. Um, <laughs> it's the nude 0.5 lip liner.
Then I'm going to take my Genius Place lipstick in the shade Mademoiselle. See how that peachiness kind of comes through? Love that. <laughs> and I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I know I've got glowy all over. So to keep it from competing with the rest, well, not necessarily competing, but I think I'm just going to leave it there. Um, if I decide to put a gloss on, it'll be something glossy, something glowy. <laughs> this is just my summer, everyday, kind of glowy, um, go-to makeup look if I'm going someplace. <laughs> I like to be simple these days. I know. Who who am I? Where, who is this person? Where did she come from? Why am I not wearing eyeshadow? Let's address that. Why am I not? I don't know. Who am I? Who am I? Um, It's just something I've started liking, <laughs> something that I got into the habit of and I've really enjoyed. Um, a lot of glowy products, of course. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy a good, warm, glowy look for summer. So this is my go-to. What's yours? Tell me what you like to do. Um, maybe I gave you some tips for your look. Maybe you were looking for something to to help. So I just try to keep it light, simple. I like to use my primers are like my foundation for everything. <laughs> so that's something that I really focus in on um, is the primer. Of course, you can do anything you want to to the eyes. You don't have to do it this way. I choose to do it this way just to be simple and easy. And just leave it alone. Um, because when I get hot, I get hot, and of course, I'm going to be glowy anyway, and I'm going to, you know, my oils are going to shine through regardless, so might as well accept them and embrace them, and I find that this does not break up on my skin. It doesn't look funky or anything, so that's something I enjoy too, so um, tell me what your summer look is. Tell me what you go to. Tell me some of your tips and tricks and what you enjoy for summer. Um, Tell me if you found this helpful, <laughs> if you enjoyed it. So, um, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope that you are having a good summer so far. Um, if you are taking vacations, I hope you're staying safe while you're doing that. Um, you know, these <laughs> crazy gas prices may be keeping us all home. Who knows? Um, <laughs> but we have a vacation planned, but it's a little bit later in the summer. So, um, for now, I'm just a working overtime all the time. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is a good setting spray. I do have another small bottle of my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, which I love. That stuff is the best. <laughs> it's expensive, so I'm not telling you to go buy it, but it's really good. Um, <laughs> and to me, it's been worth it. Um, will I repurchase? I don't know. That's to be determined. Um, but Milani Make It Last is a very, very good setting spray that is more affordable. So that will also help with longevity. Forgot to mention that. Let me just throw that in there real quick. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> um, I forgot what else I was saying, but anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the look. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're staying safe, happy, and healthy. I will hopefully get back to posting a little bit more regularly. I hope to have another video pretty, pretty soon after this. So, um, I hope you are having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.